how do we know the universe is expanding? You would have heard of the universe expanding, but do you know how we know it is expanding? In our voice today, we will explore the proof that the universe is expanding. We used to live in the preconceived notion that the universe is neither expanding nor contracting. It exists in a stable state. But why? Honestly, there's no reason. It is just what felt right. Probably because humans find comfort in the idea the universe would not change despite the passing of their life. But we know this is not true, thanks to Edwin Hubble. Hubble was measuring the Doppler shift of far away galaxies. But wait, what is Doppler shift? The light we see, like the light radiating from your device into your eyes, shows me talking about space. This light is called visible light. Visible light is a tiny part of electromagnetic spectrum. It contains multiple other waves that have two properties, wavelength and frequency, that allow us to differentiate them. Wavelength is the length measure of the distance between successive crests of a wave. Frequency is the rate at which waves pass through a fixed place. The longer the wavelength, the lesser number of waves pass through in a unit of time. Thus, it has a lesser frequency. Now that we understand light, let us understand what a spectrum of light is. We get it when light is broken down into specific wavelengths by passing it through a prism. We can see the various colors of visible light if we pass it through a prism. To be more specific, we see the different wavelengths that are part of visible light, which we see as different colors, like how you see a rainbow, which is when the light from the sun is split into its colors. When we see the spectrum of the light from a star, we see some gaps in it. This is because as light travels from the core of a star to its atmosphere, the atoms in the atmosphere absorb light at specific wavelengths, which we will find to be missing in our spectrum of the light from a star. This can help us reduce the chemicals present inside the star. The Doppler shift is when the light in the spectrum of a star or a galaxy appears to have moved, similar to how the sound of the airplane traveling overhead decreases the farther it gets from you. Similarly, the farther away from the source, the more red shifted the spectrum of the light from the source is. Red has the longer wavelength. So if an object moves away from the observer, then the wavelength of the light of that object stretches, giving it the name of red shift. Similarly, if the source moves towards us, then the light is blue shifted and the wavelength of that light becomes shorter. This happens because as the source moves towards you, the distance between you and the source decreases every time. This means the distance light needs to travel to reach you decreases, so it reaches you faster. If light reaches the destination faster, it is a higher frequency. And as we discussed previously, higher frequency means a shorter wavelength. The vice versa is observed the source moving away from you. So now that we understand what the Doppler shift is, how did Edwin Hubble use it to make the discovery that the universe is expanding? When Hubble captured the Doppler shift of galaxies, he noticed that all of them were moving away from us. The spectrum of all their light was red shifted. And the farther away they were, the faster they were moving away. This meant the space between them must be increasing, meaning the universe is expanding. But why is the universe expanding? It is expanding because of this. If you want to know, then click on the next video in which we take a voice to explore the reason for the universe expansion. Till then, see you.